Hello, welcome to Fire Chase. My name is John McDonald, and today we're still in lockdown, so I've gone out into the garden and I've had a look at what flowers we've got. And I've got some beautiful sweet William, which I think is really, really sweet, obviously, uh, and these beautiful peonies. So we're just starting to get into the peony season, and this is the first of them now. So sweet, uh, sweet William, peonies. And I also just had a little look and I managed to find some of this beautiful grass and I think this will just give us a little bit of a contrast. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a little arrangement for in the home and the container I want to use is this little plant pot that I found in a local garden centre. Really like the pattern. I've always been inclined to buy plant containers that are quite plain and actually having this one in the house has made me realise that I really like it more than the plain ones. So what I've done with the Sweet William is I've just cleaned off the stem. So when you cut the actual Sweet William, you've got a lot of little leaves that would be below the waterline. So we're just going to arrange this as like a little hand tie, uh, and we don't want any foliage that goes below the waterline. Now with the peonies then, that's a case of remove the leaves as well. So this is okay. Um, what, what we might want to do is leave like a leaf like this. So this is okay because when we have it, it's, it's still on the main stem, it's still getting water, it's still good. And even with this, we can, as long as our tying point is here, it doesn't matter that this is part of it. It's actually gonna give some volume into the bouquet. So we're just gonna clean off our leaves. Now you can be a little bit cautious on that and then add, uh, take off more as you come. So let's get started. So what I'm really looking for is a beautiful peony for the middle. And what we're going to do is we're just going to work in a spiral. Now with our grasses, they're just all different heights, but we're going to pop them in as we go. And just start to build this up. So, if you're watching us on YouTube, then why not head over to Facebook and have a look at our page there. Sometimes we're able to share things, pictures, events, that you won't see if you're just on YouTube. And equally, if you're on YouTube and you've never been to, um, if you're on Facebook and never been to our site on YouTube, then have a look at us there because you can actually access all our past videos. Um, and really pick and choose what you want to watch and watch them again if you want to. So all I'm doing is I'm crisscrossing the stems, making sure there's no foliage kind of below that time point and just uh, working in our Sweet William. What I love with this Sweet William is that we've got this uh, green collar as well. It reminds me of the, the carnation, the one that you'd call trick, I think, if you were in touch. And I don't want this to look too heavy, so I want the Sweet William to kind of be in different heights. And this is the, the thing about the current situation, it's making people have to think about what do they have to hand? Like maybe, maybe you don't have any flowers, so what are you going to do? But you might have some silk flowers or some dried flowers, even just branches. You can start to get creative with all sorts of things. So I'm just looking here. As to where we need just one or two more. And just to finish off then, I've got a couple of um, hosta leaves, which I love and a couple of burgundian leaves as well. And this is really just going to give us a little bit of support and just finish it off. And this is really our bokeh. Now, if you're doing peony bokehs for wedding work, I absolutely love the foliage, but really I've learned the, the hard way. Don't use it for finishing off the bokehs. It looks great, but it really doesn't last. So I would, I would shy away from it. You might be okay in a situation like this where we're just going to use it at home, in water, um, but if it's for wedding work, I wouldn't use the peony foliage. 
So I've just used a little bit of uh, twine there just to go a couple of times around the bouquet and get our secateurs. Now, we need to think. We're going to do this. And actually, I think I'd rather have this a little bit lower. So this is keeping it really clean and tidy. And the great thing about doing it as a hand tie is that we can easily change the water in the vase. Just lift the bouquet out, change the water, and uh, there you've got a really simple garden style bouquet. I think in some ways it works really well when we just have a limited selection of materials. So essentially we've really just got grass, peonies, sweet william, but it's full of interest and it's really interesting to have something that's seasonal. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you enjoyed this video then click here to subscribe and as I say why not head to YouTube or to Facebook to see us on there. So thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.